children today we are going to start a new topic that is acid bases and salt the topic is acids bases and salts it's a very interesting chemistry topic in this chapter we will learn what are acids and bases and how they are different from each other and what happens when an acid reacts with a base and what are salts how they are formed and we will be seeing some of the interesting activities when an acid reacts with a base you know the taste of curd what is the taste of curd the curd is sour in taste okay very good what is the taste of lemon just cut the lemon and taste it what is the taste yes that is also sour what is the taste of tamarind it is sour in taste now let us taste the unripe apple what is the taste before ripening the apple also taste so what is the taste of gooseberry amla yes gooseberry also sour in taste why these substances what i told now are sour in taste they are sour in taste because they contain some kind of acids in it so we can say that the substance which are sour in taste are generally acids or we can say that acids are substance which are sour in taste okay acids are substance which are sour in taste they taste sour okay you can taste the examples what i told you from daily life say for example you can taste the buttermilk you can taste the curd you can taste gooseberry then tamarind no problem but there are certain other acids see i will show you see this is the sulfuric acid h2so4 okay sulfuric acid and another one see this is hydrochloric acid don't taste these acids these acids are very strong acids so though you can taste some of the acids like the substance acidic substance like fruits but you don't taste the chemical the acid chemical the strong chemical acids which are present in your labs never they are very strong that burn your body so don't taste the acids from lab okay you can only taste very mild acids which are present in the fruits like lime that is lemon and tamarind then uh, fruit some of the fruits you can taste so they are sour in taste because of the presence of certain acids the substances which are sour in taste are generally acidic the word acids the word acid come from a word acid means sour the word acid came from a word acid the word acid came from a word acid that means so acid means so therefore acids are sour in taste as they got sour taste they are called acids sometime very unknowingly you might have tasted soap your bathing soap or 
you might have seen your mother or your auntie putting a powder while they are making the idli batter or the dosha batter they put a powder called baking soda a white powder baking soda this baking soda is nothing but sodium bicarbonate have you tasted it see the soap or the baking soda generally taste bitter they are bitter in taste so the substances which are bitter in taste are generally called bases so we can say that bases are substances which are bitter in taste okay bases are substances which are bitter in taste bases are bitter in taste example baking soda sodium bicarbonate and soap as they contain bases as these substances contain bases we can say that they are chemically basic so there are some substances which are chemically acidic and there are certain other substances which are chemically basic as they contain bases and one more difference i will tell you see the acids the acids can convert a blue litmus paper into red i will show you now see i have with me the blue litmus paper this is the blue litmus paper and this is the red litmus paper as it generally convert blue litmus to red if i dip this blue litmus paper in the acid the blue color of the litmus changed into red so if the blue color of the litmus paper changed into red then we can confirm that that material is the substance is acidic see now i have taken blue litmus paper see this is acid with me this is dilute sulfuric acid i am dipping this blue litmus paper i am dipping into the acid let us see what happens to this blue litmus paper see i am dipping see what is happening i will show you now i am just touching see the lower part which is dipped in acid became red okay the blue litmus changed into red very clear isn't it so we can say that acids are substances which changes blue litmus into red acids are substances which changes blue litmus paper into red see this is red litmus paper the litmus paper is red in color and i have a base with me the base is ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide is a base you know ammonium hydroxide is a base which are used in window cleaners the window cleaners a chemical we use now for cleaning the windows cleaning the windows cleaning the glasses of uh, cars okay these chemicals are actually made up of ammonium hydroxide which is a base now i am dipping the red litmus paper in a base now let us see what happens this is red in color red litmus paper see i am going to dip this red litmus paper in the ammonium solution let us see what is happening now okay see the red litmus paper the dipped part changed into blue the red litmus paper changed into blue when i dipped in ammonium hydroxide that indicates that ammonium hydroxide is a base so what are bases bases are substances which convert red litmus to blue 
and acids are substances which convert blue litmus red okay so far we studied two difference isn't it first one acids are sour in taste whereas bases are bitter in taste acid convert blue litmus to red whereas bases convert red litmus to blue acids example lime okay lime consist of acidic substance lime are acidic tamarind all these are acidic and bases i told two examples from your daily life one is soap solution or soap and another one is baking soda they consist of bases in it so they are basic children now i have taken water in a beaker this is distilled water distilled water means 100% pure water is called distilled water i have taken distilled water in a beaker and now i am putting blue litmus into the litmus uh, blue litmus paper i am dipping into the water see the blue litmus remains as blue the blue lit litmus paper did not change the blue remains as blue itself and now i am putting the red litmus paper you see the red litmus paper the red litmus paper i am dipping into the distilled water see the red remained as red that means distilled water distil in distilled water blue remains as blue as well as red remains red litmus paper remained as red that indicates that the water is neither acidic nor basic then what is water the pure water the distilled water is then we call it as neutral the distilled water is neutral that means they are neither acidic nor basic so the substances or the material the substance which does not change the blue litmus or the red litmus is known as the neutral therefore we can generally say generally chemically we can say all the materials are chemically based on their chemical nature based on their chemical nature the materials can be classified into three types one is acidic two is basic number three neutral what are acidic substances the substances which are sour in taste and that change blue litmus into red are called acidic next one the substances which are bitter in taste and that change red litmus to blue are called basic and the substances which does not change the blue to blue litmus or red litmus paper the substance that will not affect the color of blue litmus or red litmus are called neutral are you clear so be chemically based on the chemical nature all the substances are classified or comes under three categories they are acidic basic or neutral acidic substances are the substances which are sour in taste and changes blue litmus to red basic substances are the substances which are bitter in taste and that change red litmus to blue and neutral substances are neither acidic nor basic and they do not change the color of litmus example pure water distilled water is an example for neutral medium